Greetings to all of our friends and partners across America and around the world. Our thought for today is, your faith can move mountains. The Bible says in Mark 11, 23, 24, quote, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart or her heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. God is speaking to you in this verse saying, your faith can move mountains. Mountains are awesome. I was raised in southeast Texas until the age of 12, where cotton fields and endless acres covered with cattle, pine trees, and rice fields. I had never seen a small hill, let alone a mountain. In 1948, when I was eight years of age, my father drove us to Arizona to visit my paternal grandparents for Thanksgiving. When I saw the mountains of New Mexico and Arizona, as I was mesmerized for life. Magnificent, awesome, breathtaking in size, a portrait of divine power that I enjoy to this day and will enjoy until I breathe my last breath. The Gospel of Mark stretches the faith of every believer by clearly stating, quote, you have mountain-moving ability. I quote St. Mark, quote, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt, he or she will have whatsoever they ask. The awesome God that we serve spoke the stars into existence and flung the glittering stars against the velvet of the night as sparkling evangelist reminding mankind of his glorious power. The God that we serve scooped up a handful of dirt and breathed into it, and man became a living soul. God invites every believer on earth to call upon him so that he can demonstrate his power to you. He can make a way when there seems to be no way. He can move mountains of impossibility. He can move mountains of fear. He can remove mountains of regret, mountains of sorrow, sickness, and insecurity. He can divide the waters of the Red Sea and the Jordan River. He can walk through the flames of the fiery furse with the three Hebrew children, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he can walk through the fire that you are facing right now. He closed the mouths of lions for Daniel. He caused the sun to stand still for Joshua. He called fire from heaven for Elijah, and he can do that for you. He can anoint your head with oil. Your cup will run over with abundance that you cannot handle. In your darkest night, when your heart is broken, when you've lost the love of your life, when you have tried your best and failed, when all hope seems lost, in a daring act of faith, practice the secret of Christian joy. Rejoice in the Lord always. Count it all joy. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Today, the master of the universe brings to you the gift of mountain-moving faith, giving you the power to do what others consider absolutely impossible. Make this day an adventure with mountain-moving faith. Nothing is impossible with God. Believe in the God that believes in you. If you were blessed by this devotional, would you prayerfully consider a donation to Hagee Ministries to help us continue to take the life-giving message of Jesus Christ to all the world and to every generation? You can give today by going to www.jhm.org. That number, www.jhm.org. That's God's word for this week.
I'll see you Sunday morning live over the internet at 8.30 or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook, YouTube, or our website at Hagee Ministries. I'll see you Sunday morning.